I'm in Florida. It's like 900 degrees outside and I'm wearing a wetsuit. What am I doing in Florida in the heat with a wetsuit and a hose? Oh yeah. One of the most asked questions that I see out there when I'm perusing through all of the Iron Man Facebook pages is about wetsuits. So the questions that will become our question of the day today is about the wetsuits. Number one, when should you wear a wetsuit? Number two, what should I wear under my wetsuit? And number three, without wetsuit strippers, how do I get this wetsuit off in a timely manner where I won't lose the time I save by wearing the wetsuit? Well, stay right here because I'm going to bring you some really great information. So one of the biggest questions I've seen in my research for a different video that's going to be coming out is what do people regret not having or not doing in a race that they're going to fix the next time? And literally the number two so far has been, I didn't wear my wetsuit. And we're going to address those issues. There are two styles of wetsuits you might see out there in triathlon racing. One is the sleeveless. The sleeveless wetsuit is just that. It's a neoprene wetsuit, long pants with no sleeves. Leaves your shoulders loose and open so you can grab the water and you can feel the water better. Some people really, really like the sleeveless wetsuit. The other style is with sleeves. But what I found is through my racing experience, is the sleeved wetsuit is faster. This wetsuit here I picked up, it's Orca. It's got lighter neoprene in the shoulders than it does in the base of the arms and in the body and in the legs. So you get the buoyancy and you get the thermals of the wetsuit over your body, but you have a nice loose shoulder to swim with and the added depth of thickness of your arms so you pull more water. Me, I always wear a long sleeve wetsuit when it's wetsuit legal in a race. So today's video is being brought to you by JSCoachingSystems.com. 10 for 10 sprint triathlon training plans for, where for $10 you get 10 weeks of training in one of three levels. It comes in beginner, intermediate, advanced, interested. Go down below in the description, you'll find my email address. It's right here on the screen and it's in the comment. Just shoot me an email, we'll set you up and get you on the road to me a triathlon. The next question I hear all the time is, what should I wear under my wetsuit? Should I go bare and then go put something on afterwards? And the answer to that is absolutely not. There really is truly one thing you wanna wear and that is through the whole race is you want to wear a comfortable, well-fitting tri-suit. There's a couple of reasons why. Number one, then you don't have to change. And number two, it helps in getting the wetsuit off. The wetsuit will slide right off of your tri-suit and you'll be on your way through T1 and out onto the bike. So one of the main things that you got to do when you're putting on your wetsuit is to make sure it goes on and it's going to be able to come off easy. My go-to for that is Tri-Slide. There's other products out there. Uh, there's Body Glide. The Tri-Slide, as I say, is my go-to. Link below in the description. I'll also look up a couple of the nicer wetsuits in a good quality price range and put the links down there below also. When it comes to getting the wetsuit off, this is the biggest question because in 2021, we're not going to see wetsuit strippers because people are gonna to have to learn to get their wetsuit off themselves. And that's a really, really simple process if you're lubricated right and you have a, a well-fitting wetsuit. So well, here's how you do it. First thing you do is you come out of the water, you're gonna unzip the back and you're gonna pull it down off of your shoulders, long sleeve or not, and get it down to your waist. Again, if you have your tri-suit on, it's a little bit wet, it'll slide right down. Then you're gonna push it down with your hands off your hip, down to your knees, step up with one leg, stand on it, kick your leg out forward. The wetsuit should come right off your ankle with no problem. I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm gonna step back here so I get into full frame and show you how I get my wetsuit off in T1. And it's off. I want to thank our sponsor today, JSCoachingSystems.com, 10 for $10 sprint triathlon training plans. Remember the email link is down below in the description and in the comments. So I hope this answered all of your wetsuit questions, but as you saw, 
you can get a wetsuit off fast if it's proper fitting and you use a little extra uh, product on the side to help it slip right off. Remember, there's links down below in the description for these items. If you got value from today's video, go ahead, smash me in the face to subscribe. Go down below, leave me a comment, tell me about your wetsuit and some of your experiences with wetsuits. Take a look at these videos right here. Top one is one made just for you. Bottom one can help you out in your triathlon journey. This is Coach John.